This week on Off The Grid With The Badger. We part ways with Alfie and hit the coastline to test our skills with a local hunter. There he is, there, there he is. Oh, I think we missed. Oh, he's a monster. Big, he's got a big nipper on him. I don't remember seafood buffets being such hard work. Do that. Ah. Oh. There he is. Inland Kimberley has been unbelievable. It's given us experiences unlike anywhere else. But it's time to hit the red dirt and head north to the coast. We've parted ways with Alfie and are on the lookout for his mate. In true northern style, the only hint Alfie gave us was there, around the corner there and, and follow him down. Can't miss it. <laughs> Let's check it out. <laughs> Yeah, good. Yeah, thanks, Alf. Yeah, this must be his tracks. There's, there's nothing else on the beach. This is the only... <laughs> there's human... no other tracks. It looks like he might have been hunting here, maybe as the tide was going out, eh? Yeah. Feels a bit different underfoot. Yeah. Different from what we used to. A bit heavy. What's going on there? <laughs> he looks like he knows what he's doing. Well, it's 90% of the battle, really, isn't it? I remember when I was 15, sneaking in to see my ex-girlfriend. I was sort of walking like that. Alfie mentioned this fellow was a bit of a character. From a distance, it looks like he's got some sort of weapon. I'm really hoping it's for the fish. G'day! He's coming at us for spears. Yeah, you don't see that in Sydney too often, do you? I just hope it's him. Any luck out there, mate? No luck out there just yet, mate. <laughs> yeah. How are you going, mate? Good. You yes. must be Alfie's mate, eh? Yep, I'm Terry. Terry. Nick. Terry. Yep, I'm Blair. How are you going? Terry, mate. How are you going? Yeah, good, man. Yeah. Mate, well, speaking with Alfie, he reckons you're the man around here for you know, learning the skills. Yes. Catch a, catch a feed. But guys, out here, you have to do it my way. So traditionally, we are out spearfishing. So if you guys would like to leave your rods, and we'll head out, go out spearfishing mullets. <laughs> Old school. That sounds pretty good. With lunch on the line, never have I cared so much about tossing someone's weapon. Blair looks impressed with the length of his. I'm going to draw a little target just in there where that little hole is, just to get your eye in, and we'll head out and see if we can catch ourselves a feed. Go there, on, mate. There is, there is, there, there is. Oh, oh yes. Oh. oh, skimmed him. You would have definitely got him, mate. You would have <laughs> definitely got him, yeah? I think Terry feels sorry for me. At best, it would have given the fish a haircut. Oh. Excellent shot. Excellent Dang. shot. He's going to take get off with that spear. Him. He's going to take off with that spear. Oh, you guys, yeah, you guys would have got a feed. You got a few. You got a feed. Yeah? Righto, it's on. I've got to become one with the water. <laughs> oh. That, that, um, he just got the vibe then. He felt it. That, that might have been a female stingray, Nick, there. And, uh, yeah. He took, she took one look at you. I had that effect on. Yeah. yeah. Keep up the comms, Blair. If you spot something, let me know. So I've got that second shot. Yeah, yes. sure, mate. It didn't take long to spot our first school of mullet. But looks like we're not the only ones looking for a feed. They better not scare away our tucker. Yeah, you can see that shark moving there. Yeah, they're right at the front of this rock right here. Okay. Oh, yeah, I'll see them. Okay, ready? Ready. Three, two. Look at that balance. About as graceful as a newborn gazelle. Yeah, I think we missed. Well, God, I scared one though. Yeah, oh, he put the wind up him. <laughs> Would be a lot easier if these fish stopped moving. Yep, well, let's face it. If we want to eat it all today, we've got to change tactics. Unlucky boys. You win today, sharks. As the tide starts to drop, Terry suggests we hunt mud crabs. Just the thought of a fresh feed of muddies really puts a spring in your step. So yeah. all these shells here, mate, what's the go there? So again, mate, that's just that mud crab and pushing that, um, that shells out of that, just under the rock system that you see here. Oh, okay. So again, he's gonna make a deep little pool for himself so he can sit down in there. We are feeding and making a home at the same time. Smart oh, bugger, right? Yeah. Efficiency. What weapon are you gonna be using there, Beth? I'll go the spear. Okay, well at home, I'm known as, um, as the hooker. So you got the crab hook, mate. 
is that? There's various reasons for that, but uh, yeah, it just seems to fit. Right. There is one down here, man, but he's deep. Well, we need an experienced hooker. Did someone call for a hooker? If you want to duck down there, mate, you probably could see him straight down there, just tucked in the corner. Uh, right hand side, ah, uh, yeah. Yeah. Nice one. He wedged himself up there. Is he wedged? Do you want me to come in from the rear? We'll get him. Yeah, if you can maybe poke him in the rear. Okay. So, got him on the move, he's coming towards you. Yep. Okay, I've got, I've, got, I've, got, I've got a touch. Yeah. So, maybe shoot him back towards me if you can. That sneaky little bugger. He's got our number. See, he's thought about this. <laughs> he knows where to get away. Oh, that. Mud crabbing is an itch I've just got to scratch. I've been battling crabs my whole life. Keep moving. Oh, he's a monster. Good one. He's a goodie. I felt, it felt very tinny. There he is. So, this guy's not going to, buddy, go without a fight. Okay. I respect that. Something's moving. Here we go. Okay, good. We got a grip. Look at that yep. meat on the bugger. Yeah, keep coming. Yeah, keep coming. You ready? Hey! -ya. <laughs> there he is. Yes, there he is. Put a nipper on him. Oh, that's a good feed. A bit of tucker. Well done. <laughs> Bang. How good. One. Blair, aka the hooker, works his magic and turns my catch into a Louis Vuitton crab bag. He's getting pretty comfortable with these big nippers. He's working his way around them easy. I think he's found his calling. He doesn't seem too worried about his feelers. No, no, here. Yeah, there is. There. Hey? There. Oh, there right is at the back. Too. Right, he's on this end. Okay, well, my only access really, what we do? really is through here. Mate, uh, maybe, yeah, just push him forward if you can. Oh, he's jammed up. Oh, I'm looking at the business end here. Is he pointing at you? Yeah. Oh, he doesn't want to give up without a fight. <laughs> ah, don't do that. Ah. Oh, I got him come by the claw. He might drop his claw here, but. <laughs> Woo! With all limbs intact and our day's catch all tied up, we're ready to strap on the feed bag. Blair and I get stuck into some fresh rock oysters. There's plenty around and they're bloody delicious. Then we head back to the beach to kickstart a fire for the muddies. Driftwood man brings that smoky flavour right through this crab as well. Tessa mate, you got a couple of little whippersnappers charging yep. around you can teach you all this knowledge to? Definitely man, so I got you know three boys of my own, so all the knowledge that I've you know taken in over the years, I hand back down to these young fellas now. Yep. Um, also with the nephews um, that come out, so. Um, yeah, constantly teaching the younger generation, mate, just to live sustainably as well. Yeah, yeah good, yep. Mate. That's awesome. Together with our new mate, we're enjoying a fresh catch of muddies round the fire. Doesn't get much better than this. The salty brine turned it on for the boys, and like the old saying goes, skills pay the bills, do the miles, get the smiles. Next time on Off the Grid with the Badger. This is our last bite at the cherry. It's our final day in the Kimberley and we're back on the rods. Rock hopping. Oh, it's a good one. We hook some beauties. But landing them, that's another story. Get out. Oh. <laughs>